running your Android app in VR has never been easier. So let's take a look at how you can do so in Meta Horizon OS. Whether you're a seasoned Android developer looking to bring your existing Android app into the immersive world or a novice developer looking to start fresh, Meta Horizon OS makes it straightforward to get your app running in VR with minimal effort. I'm Akash Joshi, Director of Partner Engineering at Meta, and I work with developers such as yourself in bringing your apps to the MetaQuest devices. As you may already know, Meta Horizon OS is built on Android open source project, so the development process will be very familiar territory for any Android developers. What this means is that your existing apps, whether built with Jetpack, React Native, Flutter, or native Android, can run on MetaQuest devices with little to no modification. Also, the Meta Horizon OS shell handles input translation, so tap, touch, and scroll gestures will work just like on a phone, but now in a VR environment. So as you can see, MetaQuest is no longer just for games or purely immersive experiences. It is also for cool and useful Android apps that are used by people every day. For example, popular apps like WhatsApp and Instagram are already available on the Meta Horizon store for users. Now let's get started with building for Meta Horizon OS. As a first step, we will start by launching Android Studio, opening your project, and then we will download the Meta Horizon plugin for Android Studio. This plugin is going to be essential to make this project compatible with Meta Horizon OS. The plugin will automatically notify you about all the unsupported dependencies like phone calling or GPS in your code and suggest an alternate way of handling them. Meta Horizon OS doesn't support some of the Android libraries, so you'll need to replace them with equivalents that are recommended by Meta. The Meta Horizon plugin will help you analyze your code and point out all these required changes, making compatibility straightforward and easy. With Android's product flavors, you can use the same code base to support mobile and MetaQuest devices. Each product flavor creates its own APK file and can have its own source code, manifest, and dependencies. The plugin will help you set up a MetaQuest flavor as well that will take care of this. Now that our app is compatible, let's start by testing the app. MetaQuest Developer Hub, also known as MQDH, is an application for Windows and Mac OS that allows developers to manage devices, debug their apps, and submit apps to the Meta Horizon store. In the Device Manager tab of MQDH, you can also cast your device's screen to your computer for easy development. The simplest way to do this is to plug your MetaQuest device into your computer and just hit the play button in Android Studio. This will generate an APK and make your app appear on your MetaQuest device for you to use. You can do anything that your users will be able to do with the app, similar to when they would download your app from the Meta Horizon store. Now that your app works and is running, let's work on making it more VR friendly. MetaQuest supports panels in different ways. Your app can coexist with other panels with seamless multitasking, or you can enable focus mode, making your app front and center. In either case, your app is freely resizable and can work in VR as well as pass-through modes. Also, you can consider camera permissions for selfie and pass-through cameras to enhance the user experience. For audio experiences, you can add spatialized audio by enabling Dolby Atmos. Now, there are several options to upload your app to the Meta Horizon store once it's ready. You can generate a signed APK from Android Studio and if you have MetaQuest Developer Hub installed on your local development machine, you can use it to directly push your APKs to your app's release channel. Or you can take the APKs and go to the Meta Horizon Developer website and upload them directly. Once uploaded, then you can kick off the store submission process where you'll have to provide all the assets and collaterals such as screenshots, descriptions, categories, etc., that is going to inform the users about your app. And that's it. To wrap up, today we covered a brief step-by-step -step guide to making your Android app compatible with Meta Horizon OS. We are excited to see what you build and bring to the Meta Horizon store. To get started, you can search for Meta Horizon on the Android Studio Marketplace, or you can check out the detailed documentation for Android app development on the Meta Horizon developer website. Thanks a lot for joining this session and watching.